coming up in this video. Well, you guys have come a long way, so let me present to you the future PlayStation 6. I only go out with guys who have the best gaming console. Why does that matter? Yeah, aren't they all the same? I got a PS5. James, nobody likes to show off. Really? A PS5? I heard those are hard to get. Yeah, let's go out. I can show you my game collection. I'm getting a PS5 for my birthday. Your birthday? I'd rather go out with someone who has one now. Oh, okay. Did I tell you girls? I got one on order. Oh, on order? Did I mention I have a new Lamborghini on order? Knock it off, Chad. Everyone knows you're not getting a new car. Did I tell you girls? I'm working on a new gaming invention. Oh, what's your invention? An edible controller? No, for real, it's gonna revolutionize gaming. Did I mention I invented something too? It's a lie detector and it's working really good right now. All I know is that you two are full of hot air because only James has a PS5. No, you'll see, my birthday is this weekend. Girls only want to date guys with the latest PlayStation, but only James has one. Since it's your birthday, me and the guys at the computer lab chipped in together and got you a little birthday present. Oh. Oh. A second controller? Just in time, I can beat you at PlayStation. Just in time? I thought you didn't have the PlayStation. That's what you think. In fact, here comes my present right now. There's my birthday man. I brought your special gift. James, could you hand this to him for me? Huh, feels kind of light for a PS5. Well, they're making them smaller and smaller. Give me that. What is this? D dude, that's an Atari. Mom, this is not a PS5. They didn't have the five, but the people at the store told me the four was almost as good. Dude, your mom thinks this is the PS4. Mom, this is an Atari 4. This one has built-in games, and the other one, you have to buy them, and they're expensive. They're expensive because they're good. I'm sorry, honey, the PS5 things are impossible to find right now. Well, I have a PS5. That's because your uncle works at Sony. Would you like to return the Atari, or would you like to go ahead and play it? Let's play with it. I love those retro games. <sighs> Fine, as long as I can return it later. Hey, Chad, how's that PS5 you got for your birthday? I don't want to talk about it. Did you hear? Miss Pac-Man called. She wants to know if you have ice cream at your house. Yeah, Miss Pac-Man, I get it, okay? And I heard Space Invaders is really good on the PS5 these days. Okay, yes, enough already. It's an Atari, I admit it. It's not like me to rub it in. Good, because I'm sick and tired of hearing about the Atari. Fine. Did I tell you my new PS5 came in down at Big Mart today? No, but thanks for sharing. Okay. Oh, look, an asteroid! What? Russell's about to get his new PS5. But Chad only has an Atari. How will he beat him now? Hey mom, I'm gonna go up to my room and get on my computer. I mean, do my homework. What's that smell? Oh honey, I'm cooking your favorite pot roast. What's wrong? You don't seem like yourself. Oh mom, the kids are giving me a hard time and the girls don't like me. It's because I don't have a PS5. Well, Russell, you know it came in. It's just been so long. And here's your gift card to pick it up. It's hard to believe that it's finally here. Well, believe it, because we're going to pick it up tomorrow night. Mom, I got to talk to you. What is it now, Chad? This Atari, it's the worst. They don't have a PS5. What do you want me to do? Well, can we at least order it? Well, we can return that and order what you want. Good, let's do it now. Hi, we need to return a PlayStation 4 that I bought from you. Mom, I keep telling you, it's an Atari. I'm sorry, I meant that I need to return an Atari that I bought from you. Okay, do you have the receipt and the product? 
Very well, just give me a minute and I'll credit your card. Can we exchange it instead of return it? Sure, no problem, just bring your selection to the counter. Uh, my selection's right there. Down there? What are you pointing at? I'd like a PlayStation 5. Son, I already told you, they don't have PlayStation 5s. Mom, yes they do, there's one behind the counter. Oh, no, that's a special order, that's reserved for somebody else. Oh, uh, that's my order. Oh, okay then, what's the name? Uh, Russell, uh, Brady. We're not Russell Brady. Uh, yes we are, that's us, the Bradys. Hey girls, do you know the French word for the owner of a new PS5? French word? They have PS5s in France? Okay, what is it? Moi, that's the French word for me. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Wow, that means only you and James have a PS5. Yeah, but he doesn't have Dance Fever. Any of you want to come over and play it? Oh, I love Dance Fever. I play that in the arcade. Yeah, but it's much better on a PS5. Now girls, one at a time. Didn't you guys hear? I'm picking up my PS5 tonight. Wow, you're getting a PS5 too? Yeah, but Chad has Dance Fever. Yeah, well once you play Planet Coaster, you're not going to want to play anything else. Stop trying to steal the girls, Russell. If you were them, who would you choose? Hi, we're here to pick up our PlayStation 5. Uh, I'm not sure we have any PlayStation 5s. Yeah, you do. We ordered it a long time ago. Okay, let me check the computer. What's the name? Brady. Russell Brady. Brady? Wow, that sounds familiar. Yeah, they called us and told us it was in. My mom even got me a gift card to pay for it. Um, yeah, it shows it right here. Russell Brady already picked it up. Really? What did he look like? I don't know. All I remember was that some kid and his mom. Oh, really? Come on, Russell Brady. Let's go. Somebody took Russell's PS5. Now he has to figure out another way to get one. James, there you are. Hey, Russell, uh, how's the new PS5? About that, somebody took my order. You mean you didn't get your PS5? No, and now I have to wait all over again. Well, you know, dude, I got one. You can always come over and play it. No, I want to be one of the cool guys. You have to help me get one. What, you want me to get a job at Target or something? No, your uncle works at Sony. Tell him I want to come over there and get one. You want to go over there? To Japan? All right, that's a little far. Can you just talk to him, see if you can get me one here? Yeah, I'll talk to him, but no promises. Remember, positive mental attitude. Okay. <laughs> Why do you need another PS5? Don't tell me you broke the one I got you. This isn't for me, this is for Russell. Russell? I don't know any Russell. Uh is this another relative? No. Oh, uh, yeah. He's just like a distant relative. Well, I hope to meet him one day, but you know I can't get you one over there. Any chance you could come to Sony headquarters? Fly all the way to Sony headquarters just for a PS5? No. Uh, fly to visit family. No, it's perfect. I found us flights to Japan. Only 350 round trip. 350 from here to Japan? <laughs> That's not possible. Yeah, man, it's the old Skyscanner hack. You fly one way on two different airlines. Yeah, well, I don't care what it is. I don't have that kind of cash. It's okay. I'll pay for the tickets with this gift card my mom gave me. You just talk your uncle into giving me a PS5. Deal! It's the least he can do seeing that we're flying all the way over there. Dude, don't you think it's a little extreme to fly all the way over to Japan just for a PS5? Man, you don't have your priorities straight. How else am I supposed to get one? Thanks, Uncle Daniel, for letting us take a tour of your research lab. Of course. Well, you know, this sort of thing isn't open to the public. Oh, really? Why is that? Well, this is where we develop the future of gaming. Imagine if the competition got a hold of this technology. That's so cool. I always wanted to see what you did for work. You know, I'm kind of a scientist myself. Well, I think that's very exciting. Uh, Russell, isn't it? 
Yep, as soon as my live stream technology is finished, it'll change gaming as we know it. Yeah, that's cool and all, but let's see what my uncle's working on. Well, the big thing that we're working on is the new PlayStation 6. But of course, we're keeping it under wraps. Wait, is that it over there? I have to take some pictures to show my friends. Russell, no cameras. And how did you get that thing through our metal detectors anyway? Oh, that's easy. I keep it in my shoe. Uh, Uncle Daniel, don't keep us waiting. Can we see it already? Well, you guys have come a long way. So let me present to you the future. PlayStation 6. Wow, it's so different. They should have put lights on the PlayStation a long time ago. Well, the lights are just for show, but the real innovation is 4D gaming. 4D gaming? Oh, so you're coming out with a VR headset. No, it's true 4D. No headsets. No headsets? How is that supposed to work? Here, Russell. Why not give it a try? Uncle Daniel, how do you get this to work? Well, it's a new technology we're referring to as access simulation. Access? As in an access card? Or do you mean like axis as in like geometry? Well, it's a little bit of both. See, we use latitude and longitude interpolation to create a simulation in interspace. Wow, I gotta get me one of those. Well, unfortunately, I don't know when they'll be out. Oh man. Why is that, Uncle Daniel? Well, the problem that we're having is that the amount of data transfer is just too overwhelming for conventional nanometer technology. Well, your technology is improving all the time, so when do you think you'll overcome that? No, what you guys need is light stream. Russell! Well, whatever it is, we got everyone in the building working on it. Well, in the meanwhile, let me show you the cafeteria. Oh, wait, uh, before you do that, can I use the restroom? Sure! It's just down the hall. You guys don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. You know where to find us. Your friend Russell seems like such a nice guy. So generous of him to fly you out here. Yeah, I think it's just because he's obsessed with gaming technology. Who isn't? Please evacuate immediately. Please evacuate immediately. Please evacuate immediately. Please evacuate immediately. Sorry that we came all the way here only to cut the tour short. That's okay. At least we got this limited edition controller out of the deal. Well, what good is an extra controller if you don't even have the PS5? Oh, no worries. I got that all worked out. Russell had to leave Sony because of a power outage. Guess he's not getting his PS5 now. <sighs> Finally. Hopefully you're okay. What?! Man, seeing those guys use that new technology is amazing. Yeah, the people that work with my uncle, they're geniuses. Man, imagine what they can do when I perfect light stream. Don't you more like pipe dream? In technology news, the Sony Corporation has announced a delay in the release of the much-anticipated PlayStation 6. The company stated it is due to technological issues. However, there are unconfirmed reports that the PS6 prototype has gone missing. More on that at 11. The problem with this thing is the Sony guys got the thermodynamics backwards. Instead of this thing running too hot, they got this thing running too cold. Here goes. I think that's it. Now let's try it. Yeah, so anyway, I'm the first one with a PS6. What do you girls think of that? <gasps> you got a PS6? Can I come over and play it? Forget coming over, let's go out. <laughs> I hate to play favorites. I'll let you all go out with me. Oh, well, me first. Why does she get dibbed? Yeah, that's not fair. Well, you know. Well, if he's got a PS6 and I got a PS7, what do you girls think about that? There's no such thing as a PS7. There's no such thing as a PS6 either. Really? That's not true. Sony flew me to Japan. 
I'm kind of a consultant. James's uncle set the whole thing up. Wait a minute, that's not what he said. Oh really, what did he say? He said they're not coming out for a while because they're having problems getting it to work. Shh, don't give our secrets away. That's the guy. Hey, I know you, but who's he? How'd you get that thing? Look, this isn't what it seems. Yeah, it is. You're not allowed to have that. You're coming with us. I can explain. Oh, please do, because you just solved our problem. He did? I tried to tell you, I integrated my Lightstream data transfer technology. But how did you get the integrated circuits to run without generating any heat? That's the magic, using light, not energy. This changes everything. In today's consumer electronic news, Sony announced that they're finally releasing the much anticipated PlayStation 6. And the platform will be utilizing a revolutionary new technology known as Lightstream, developed by young American entrepreneur, Russell Brady. There he is! <laughs> Russell, Russell! Over here! Oh, hello, ladies. Russell, you're so famous. Hey, and you're rich. I'm surprised you're not going to Bayville High now. You girls should know better than that. Money won't change me. When are we gonna go out? He'd rather go out with me. Wait, what about me? Girls, there are seven days a week. I'll make time for all of you. <laughs>